Here he is, Blake Shelton. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Woo! Nice You're to okay. see you. <laughs> nice to see you, buddy. Well, where are you? You got a lot of animals back there. Uh, I'm in uh, Oklahoma at uh, my place here. And uh, what did you say? I got a lot of animals. I do have yeah, a dog. Saw... Betty, come here. Come I saw here. a dog. Oh. I have Betty here. That's a beautiful dog. Oh my good. Oh, what a good oh, my dog. God. Your breath sounds like, it smells like Jimmy. <laughs> Oh my God! Who is uh who are you, who are you there with? Who are you uh being safe with? We are uh quarantined with uh, uh, a bunch of Stefanis. I'm I'm talking about a pile of them. It's me and a bunch of Stefanis. <laughs> my mom and stepdad live uh I don't know about ten miles from here. I haven't seen them since uh. uh uh, middle of March, except for waving at them, you know, through the truck window, uh, and uh, that's about it. We haven't left. Yeah, it's kind I of it's weird. Cancel, I had to cancel my tour. Uh, we were in Omaha, Nebraska, and we were actually building the the production that day, and and finally just decided that's when pretty much the bottom was falling out of all touring and any live. Uh, events and so we just canceled and and Gwen and I immediately came here and we've not left so well what have you what have you been doing with all with your with your downtime it feels like the days go fast weirdly huh Don't oh my know. god they do they go by so fast and and a lot of it's because I black out normally around <laughs> five thirty or, or six <laughs> look at that you like my hat by the way yeah get closer I can't see it I drank today. <laughs> hey, that's not uh, bad. That's pretty much all we do. You know, we, uh, we, Gwen's learned how to bake bread really good, sourdough bread. We're just literally, it's like, uh, uh, you know, it's a little house on the prairie out here. Like, uh, she makes bread. Uh, I've, I've been, uh, building a uh, fence and, and gardening, and, uh, we're pretty self sufficient out here. As a matter of fact, I don't know uh, these in, this interview. I wanted to do it, but uh, we actually have a schedule uh, that we already had uh, lined out for the, for today, and I don't think we can put it off any longer. So if you, it's up to you. If hey, you Jimmy. Just go ahead and start. Oh my! Yay! Finally, yeah. that's a, yeah, I, know, yeah, we talked a lot about wanted. this. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, helping Blake grow out his mullet. So it's you know today we had already scheduled that it was haircut day. So yeah. I have my. Clippers. I got my it. attachments. We got to do it. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I got to get a haircut. But go ahead with your questions because you're a very good, interesting interviewer, and I don't want to miss. Oh my you know, God. Any of the this good is... things that you've got to ask me. But uh, thank gosh you took off that camouflage jacket because I didn't know. I noticed. I didn't think you had arms for a second. <laughs> uh, oh. So oh how is it going with you out there, though? Please give him a mullet, please. Yeah, oh yeah. Blake, this is really I love seeing Gwen cut your hair. This is fantastic. I love this. Hey, are 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 you guys like? Do you guys give like give each other uh, uh, inspiration on new music, like different music? Because I know you have different backgrounds musically. Like, what have you? What music are you listening to, Gwen, that you wouldn't have listened to before Blake, and vice versa? Um, this music that Blake turned me on to is called country music. Ooh. Um, yeah, I hadn't really listened to much of that um, on my ska playlist, um, but it's been really fun uh, learning about country music and all the different, he's literally an encyclopedia jukebox, like like a weirdo, like a weirdo with the knowledge. With every country? This guy, he knows everything. Like, and we do games with him where we'll just like play like a little tiny taste of a song to see if he'll know it. And we won't, we won't know what it is. We just look it up on like, the internet and he'll know it the only time i've ever been stomped on that is on your show whenever y'all played some like the <laughs> welcome back cotter version of hollaback girl or whatever it was. <laughs> I didn't know welcome it. back cotter version. you didn't even know your girlfriend's song at the time no it was y'all played some weird version of it i'd never heard i forgave before. him though yes yeah. blake who what, what was the conway twitty song where he sounds like elvis Ah, uh, that's a people see us everywhere. Yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. They think you really, it's only make believe. That's oh, what I love that song. Yeah. Hello, my It was a pop rock song. 
that's what he had his first uh, success with, and then later he he uh, went country. I, I love it if Gwen did not come back yeah. and just left you with that. <laughs> what did he say? I said uh, Conway started out uh, rock and pop and then went country, kind of like Gwen Stefani. Oh, yeah. Was doing that. yeah. Gwen, has a, Gwen has a country hit right now. We have a duet. Woo! Who would have ever thought that Gwen Stefani on country radio? I know. I love it. I think it's so, do you love singing it, Gwen? It comes, it feels natural. It was one of those songs that I was like, wow, you just, these songs come to Blake. They're so incredible. And I was dreaming that I could be on it. We were working out together in the gym and I was like, man, I wish you'd put me on this one. He actually turned the song off and goes, dang, I wish I would put you on this one. And then he did. So here we are. And was it written as a duet when it first? It wasn't. It was just, uh, no, it wasn't, was it? No, no, but what's crazy is that one of the writers, Shane, had sent me the song to give to Blake, like one of those, he had my text and he wanted me to give it to him. Um, and so it, it was just a weird coincidence, the whole thing. Uh, Gwen, are you getting him into ska music at all? Um, I tried, I made him a, um, a ska playlist. Um, we were listening to a bunch of reggae and UB40. Um, we, were, we were building actually a garden out here the other day we had like everybody on it pulling rocks and mm -hmm. and planting and um we were listening to a lot of that music that day so did you like it yes you, you gotta get him uh he had steel pulse playing jimmy that's that's a band you've probably never heard of but they're very popular in the uh, <laughs> i know steel pulse in the star world <laughs> <laughs> I, I think i was my jam is is it ghost town is that specials yeah Blake, you like that one, I think. Yeah, I do. That's the one that goes, steer it up. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You're right. I do love that song. Oh, my God. I'm, Gwen, I don't know how you put up. Just, just, learning, just learning, Jimmy, but I already know that much. Can you um, can you come closer to the camera so I can see your haircut? Let's do it closer. Yeah. yeah. Like Shamish? <laughs> That's the mullet. Is the mullet getting long in the back? Not long enough, man. You can get you can get longer, but it's getting close. I, well, I want I like those sides coming off though. This looks really good. Yeah, I've I mean, never seen you like this. You know, to be able to do this to the greatest all-time greatest country star. Woo! You know? People see us everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're we're um we're we're doing uh we're highlighting a different charity from uh, everyone that's on our show tonight. Yeah. And and you chose Music Cares. Yeah. Uh, so if you go to Grammys.com uh, forward slash Music Cares, it's a long, it's a, it's a lot of words. I'll just put it up on the screen. Put it's it up lot. on the screen. <laughs> hey, uh, really quickly, can we talk about the, the voice while you're just getting your it. haircut? Uh, you know what's scary is that we're going to we're going to have to do the voice in some fashion like this because obviously you know the live shows are coming up here in just a matter of weeks. And uh, and especially in LA, they're, we're not going to be ready to, you know, to have events again. So I, it's going to be crazy. We're going to have to coach like this. It's just going to have to work out this way. It's going to be nuts. Have you talked about it? Have you? Do you have a plan? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I think they do. I just kind of like this. Gwen's brother actually set up this computer and this interview and everything for me today because I clearly don't know how to do this stuff. So uh, I think they have a plan, and, and they're going to tell me when to be at the computer. And, I, you know, I'll listen to them, I guess, perform, and then give them some pointers. And I, I don't know. This is, it's, we're having to do things that – how does it look? I think it looks good. You, it looks like you're really handling this whole quarantine well. Oh, is that a, is that a joke about my weight? That's a fat <laughs> joke, isn't it, Jimmy? No. That's a fat joke, isn't it? No, it's not a no, it's right. not the, it's not that at all. I just heard about that. Is that a good angle? Oh my God. No, no, no. I'm sorry that, I'm, dude, you've gone punk. Your hair is punk. It's crazy, man. That's what happened to a man. I love it. You get to see the real Blake Shelton, finally. Hey, will you, one last, qu one last request. Will you put a J and an F here for Jimmy Fowler? <laughs> please. Please, please. Uh. I, I'm so happy to see both of you guys, and I, I got to tell everyone watching at home, uh, Nobody But You is the song um, from the album Fully Loaded, God's Country. But 
uh, it is so beautiful and you guys do it so well. And uh, I actually, I've showed it to my wife earlier today because you guys just recorded it for us. Thank you. But uh, I, I loved it. Great performance. We did just for you. I know. I, my name's, I think you mentioned my name. Hey, Jimmy, I think you said. I'm literally putting your initials in my head right now, Jimmy. I'm not kidding. See, these are why these shows are, are fun because you would never do this in, in real life. She just said they're not showing up very well because of the gray. <laughs> oh no, that looks terrible. <laughs> Blake, get right in there. Get right real close so I can real see it. Yeah. Here's the F. And here's That's the jet. Oh my gosh. Dude, you are so Tiger King right now, you have no idea. <laughs> Uh, uh, I love you guys and stay safe, okay? We love you. Thanks for having us on the Tonight Show today. I love you guys so today. Come back. Can't wait to see you in person again. I miss you love guys. Love you, buddy. Thank stay you, guys. Stay. Thank you. See ya. It's on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.